Hey guys, this is Ro. Welcome to today's video. So as you know, if you've been following my channel, I did a personal challenge to myself to come up with new concepts for one sheet projects. So we do have another one sheet project here that was fun to make. I did it two different ways so that you can get an idea of what it would look like with one double sided sheet of paper and then a plain sheet of paper. So this one I used just a, it was just brown all the way around, kind of looks like construction paper, but not. Um, and so it was plain and then I used scraps from a paper pad called Storytellers to embellish and decorate the inside of it. And then with this one, the base is done with a paper pad called Live and Let Grow. And then I used these uh, chipboard stickers, they're called Thickers by American Crafts to uh, do some decorating and then just other stuff from my stash that I used for the inside. So that's really where the concept for this one came from. I grabbed those, uh, I guess they're called thickers, <laughs> from uh, Joann's and I wanted to use them. So I said I want to do an album that's kind of plain all the way across but still fun and interactive so that I could use them. So sometimes I get inspired to uh, create things based off of things that I pick up along the way. So that's where these ones came from. So let me go ahead and show you a quick peek inside and then we'll jump right into the tutorial. So with this one I did a belly band closure and I'll give you the measurements for that. Um, and then this also has like a brad here that I thought was cute and I figured I didn't know how thick the album would be at that time so I figured I could use a string closure as well. So can pretty much go either way. And so then when we open this one up, move this one out the way, um, we have a pocket here, and I just did a little mat. Could do some journaling, put a photo, and these pockets are pretty roomy. You can put a good amount of stuff in this, and this is also a good Happy Mail project as well because it's still pretty thin. Um, and then when this opens up, I did put these are those uh, thickers, chipboard stickers <laughs> that I got that pretty much inspired the concept for this album. This one says, you never know who you're about to inspire. And I just thought it was cute. And then this one says, believe you can. And then in here, I just did a sample of um, some lace right here. And then this one opens up this flap and it says play. And these are all from that same sheet um, of chipboard stickers. And then in here, I just did another little tag that goes in this one. And so this one, I had fun playing with these flaps because it closes here and then I use this to keep the door closed. Although now it's trained to kind of stay closed on its own. Um, and then here we just have a little vellum sheet that I'll show you how to put in there as well if you want to. And you could also leave it out and just keep it more simple all the way around. So totally up to you. And you can also use acetate or another, if you don't have vellum or acetate, you could just use another um, uh, piece of design paper. And then right here, it says dream, plan, and create down here. And I just did a couple little banners there. And then this one flips over and I just embellished it with more of those thickers. <laughs> and um, I like these scissors because they remind me of my gold scissors, although not exactly the same, but I thought they were cute. And then over here, I just put this little mini mason jar in so that I can show you that you have some tuck spots here if you wanted to put stuff over here. And then in this pocket, we have another little mason jar and just another little journaling card and another one like so. So, and these go in here. So pretty roomy pockets and just really fun to work with. So this one closes like that, closes like that. And then, so let me just show you this uh, junk journal one and we can jump right on into making it so fun. So this one, I just, use this little ribbon thing here. I don't know, is this called twine? I can't remember what this is called specifically, but yeah, I used that to close it up. And then I thought these were buttons. I had these in my stash um, the whole time. I thought they were buttons, but then I opened it and it's actually a sticker. So I thought that was really cute. And then um, when we go inside here, we have our pocket over here that I just put a tag and a little journaling card. And I wanted you to see if it was plain, if you used one-sided paper, how it would look on the inside too. So I just cut out with my scraps to, you know, cover and embellish around it. So you can really go either way with this one. And then in here, that little tuck spot, I just put one of these cute little things there. And then we're back to our little flaps here. Just put a little tag that I thought was adorable. Then we open this one up 
And we've got another couple little tags here, or actually little cards that go in that pocket. And then this one, we also have a pocket back here that I put another little tag or mat, whatever you want to call it, back here. So we've got lots of pockets and fun stuff to play with with this album. I put another sheet of vellum here that I embellished with a little, um, they had these circles in this uh, storyteller pad and I just cut them out and put them there. And then over here we have our extra flap. And then I just put this card back here. And then this cute little thing right here. So, yeah, so you have some tuck spots, lots of pockets, and lots of fun stuff. And then there's also, we can make a pocket back here, kind of like a hidden pocket back here as well. So lots of room to put your fun stuff in. All right, so those are the two uh, sample albums that I have using this concept. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the tutorial. So we'll wanna grab our 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Make sure you could see this. So what we're gonna do here is cut out three strips of four by 12, and they'll all end up being scored the same as well. So here's our first sheet, four by 12. So we'll put that uh, to the side for a second here. Then we'll do our next four by 12 strip. So we're gonna go down to four. And you wanna be precise when cutting these so that they can all be as even as possible. All right, and then our last strip should also be four by 12 and they should all be pretty even. And just a heads up if they're not. One of my albums, they weren't that even. The other album, they came out perfectly. Um, so if it's not even, let me just show you really quick how to fix it. Super simple way to do that. You would just grab something that you wanna cut on. And do I have my little X-Acto knife nearby? No, I must've put it somewhere. So anyways, you would just take your ruler, if this is has a little bit of overage, and your X-Acto knife, and then just cut it off. It really is that easy so that they all match perfectly. So sometimes, you know, depending on how you cut it, that can happen, um, but really easy fix. All right, so we have our three four by 12s. Let me grab this back so we can do a little bit of scoring. All right, so these ones we're going to score at four and eight. All three of them are gonna have the same score lines. So actually, let me do this. Make sure you could see. All right, thing here. All right, so four and eight. I'm gonna stick that aside. Do our next one. Four and eight, and grab our last strip, do the same thing, four and eight. Okay, and then if you wanna do that little um, vellum sheet, let's go ahead and cut down a piece of vellum or whatever you wanna use to do that. really easy fun project all right so this one's going to be four by five so I'm going to cut down my five first so four by five and what I do when I'm cutting vellum so that it doesn't get stuck on my blade is I'll generally put the blade in the middle and then go back and forth and I found that that helped me um, not to get it stuck on the blade anymore so if that tip helps you and then we're gonna turn it to the four inch side. So it's gonna be four by five. All right, and then we are going to score it at one inch on the five inch side. So one inch. And there we go, now we can put that aside. Now, while we have this out, we might as well do one more thing. Um, let's go ahead and make these little flaps. 
So we wanna make these little flaps that I turned one of them into a pocket. So let's go ahead and do that. And for this, what we're gonna do, now it is four inches across here, so we wanna cut it in half. We do not wanna cut down here, okay? We only wanna focus up here. So let me show you first. We're gonna put this over at the two inch mark, okay? Bring your blade up, and our goal here is to cut a line right here in the middle, straight up, okay? We don't wanna to touch anything down here. So middle, up. So just so you don't mess up your paper, to give you a heads up on that. All right, so I'm just gonna put my blade right there, you see, in the middle, and go straight up. So that way, we have our two little flaps here, okay? And that's it, we won't need our scoreboard anymore. We can put that away and start assembling our album. All right, so now what we do here is we're gonna make that pocket that starts out over here. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna fold this over and burnish. And then we're gonna take this little corner right here and we're just gonna fold it over, super easy. And I, I fold it till it's about I'd say a half an inch, give or take. And it's really up to you how deep you want your pocket to be. So no right or wrong, just personal preference. So I go to about there. So where I think it's about like half an inch here and here. Okay, we're just gonna give that a good burnishing. Make sure this bottom is even with the bottom there. And we wanna burnish it really good. Okay. We can set that aside. We have that one done. And then we're gonna take, uh, let's see, not the strip that has our two flaps. We're not gonna do that one. We're gonna take our other strip that we haven't used yet. And we're just gonna burnish each side real quick and get it trained to move around the way we want it. And then this one, we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna make our pocket that goes at the end here. So we're gonna fold it first like this, and then we're gonna take our little corner up here, and we're just gonna fold down to a, however deep you want your pocket. And you can also go you know, up here, right, if you wanted to. So totally up to you. All right, so now we're pretty much ready to assemble our album. Let's take our little vellum strip and go ahead and burnish that so we can have it ready to go. There we go. Okay, so that one's ready to go when we get to that step. All right, so let's bring our sheets over here. Let's bring this one with the pocket on this side over here. Let's go ahead and glue it down. I hope my uh, glue hasn't dried up on me yet. All right, so we're gonna just put a little dab right here in the corner to hold that part down. And then we're gonna put some glue right here on this little part and right here at the bottom. So just one little thin bead. Okay, and then right here, we want to make a pocket that goes in the back. So let's go ahead and put our notch now, if you want to do a notch and if you wanna make the pocket. So I'm just gonna eyeball it right in the middle of this panel. Okay, and then let's fold this over and get this ready. And burnish, okay, there we go. And then let's see where we're at here. I'm trying to remember what I did. Let's go ahead and fold these flaps over and burnish this line. We got our little flappies here. All right, so our first glue here, 
we're going to put this panel right here is going to be glued on top of this panel. But we wanna make our pocket, so we only wanna put our glue like this, right? Right around it. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait a minute, am I doing this right? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put glue here. Let's go ahead and put our glue right before the score line, but not on it, and just going all the way around. One little thin line of uh, glue. And then we're gonna stick this on. Now what we wanna be careful of here is that when we glue this on top of here, we wanna glue it as close to this score line as possible without going on top of it and without going over it, and that's it. And that just helps us fold our album later. Glue all three sides. I have my notch back here. I'm gonna wanna put my notch in the front as well. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna eyeball the other notch just as a guide. There we go. Now we have our notches and we have our pocket back here. And we have our two flaps. All right, so now let's do the next part of our album. Let's grab our vellum and let's grab our other little flap here. So ultimately we're gonna glue our vellum onto the back here like that. And we're gonna stick this, this last panel, we're gonna stick this panel onto this panel. So this pocket over on top of this one. And then that will give us our two little pages here. Okay, so. And then also, if we want to have a pocket here, we can do that. We could put our notch or we could leave the notch out. So either way you wanna go, but first let's just go ahead and glue our vellum onto here. So we'll put our glue on the inside here. We want it to glue down well so that nothing sticks uh, when we throw it in our pocket. So this is where I get to go blob crazy. <laughs> Gonna glue that on like that, making sure that it lines up. There we go. All right, so we have that page, that page. Let's go ahead and glue this pocket down as well and do our notch. So I'm gonna do my notch first. Right there in the middle, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then let's glue this pocket down. So we only wanna just put a little dot of glue right here, and then we're gonna glue down here to fold down our pocket. Oh, that's where I'm losing it, okay. I'm gonna put glue here, actually. I was like, wait a minute, Ro, where are you gluing? <laughs> All right. Glue that down just like we did our other pocket. Maybe give it another little furnishing. There we go. Looking good so far. And now we have some tuck spots. So if we wanna put stuff in here and here, and then we'll have our pocket back here as well when it's all said and done. So when we glue this down, again, panel to panel, we wanna make sure that we are not going on top of or past this little score line right here. So when we glue it, we just want it to go right up to the score line, but not past it or on top of it. Okay, so that's important so that we can fold our album later. And then of course, if we want our pocket back here, let's just go ahead and put glue on the three sides. And then let's make sure our vellum is down well so that nothing catches in our pocket later when we put stuff in it. So I'm just gonna make sure I have more glue on this just to be sure that nothing catches. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue right here, right here, and right here, so that I can also have a pocket back there. And you know, of course, if you don't wanna have a pocket back there, that's fine. Totally up to you. My dog's, of course, talking to 
a neighbor's dog right now, so pay him no mind. <laughs> he only does it when I start filming. It's like he's a little ham, like he wants to be in the video some way or something. We know your tricks, Levi. <laughs> he's so cute. All right, so we've got that down. So now we have our pocket right here, and we also have our pocket right there. And that is pretty much almost finishes our album. Let me see. These fold down all the way like that. This folds and this folds like this. And it's gonna give you a slight little bit of resistance and that's okay. And you'll have a little overage here and that's okay too. I like it like that to where it shows just a little bit and that's how mine came out as well. And that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this and just get it trained to open and close the way we want. Okay, so let's open it back up. Now with our two little flaps here, we can, you know, you can definitely not make a pocket like I did. So let me show you. So you see I kept one flap going in and out, kind of like a secret compartment. And I glued one of them down to make this pocket. But you don't have to. You can actually keep both of these flaps and play around with them. You can cut them down, put a little envelope on there, put stuff in there that way. You can add some scraps on top and make two pockets this way. So, you know, you can have fun with these and use your imagination to do whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and uh, show you how I did this, the way that my first album is, in case you want to do it like that too. So if we're going to do the bottom pocket, and we could actually do a pocket on top too and let this flap come out, really up to you. But if we're going to make the bottom pocket like I did, let's go ahead and do our notch. So I'm going to put a notch right in the middle of the flap. All right, and we're going to go ahead and glue that down. So we're just going to put glue here and here. Just a little bead at the bottom. So let me bring this up so you could see. I'm just going to go one little fine line, which I never do. <laughs> and another little fine line across that way. And that will close it up and give us our pocket. All right, we've got that now. We've got our little flapperoo here. And so to hold this flap down, I thought it was fun. So I kind of made it so that you could stick something here and that holds that down, at least for a while, then you'll see it just does it on its own. Like, it's like, okay, you want me to be down? <laughs> um, and then of course you can embellish the front, the back, really do whatever you want. I kind of try to design albums so that you have multiple options. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So the way that it folds, is these down your flaps will be down fold it over like this and then fold it over like that and the first time you fold it it will give you a slight bit of resistance and that's okay you just push on it and then from there it'll be fine it'll open just like you want to all right so let's look at it one more time we've got our pocket back here all right so we open it We've got our pocket here. We've got some little tuck spots here. Open it again. We've got our little vellum sheet there. We've got our little secret compartment flap here, whatever I want to call it. <laughs> and we got our pocket there. We also have a pocket back here. And we have our um, other page right here. Opens up and then we have our last two pockets here and our tuck spots. So that's it guys. I hope you had fun. I did. I always have fun crafting with you. I don't know any uh, people that craft personally, so I get to hang out with you guys. It's really, really fun um, whenever we do and get to craft together. So thank you for joining me today. Um, if you like this project, please you know, leave me a comment below, like, subscribe. And if you make the album and you care to share, uh, tag me on Instagram or you know, shoot me a, a photo or something in an email. I'd love to see your beautiful creations. So I'll check you guys out in our next video. Happy crafting.